A white peacock. What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. joy. And Raji can grow more, if only she thinks of it. Recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O Vishnu? It was my city, indeed. Built to house my temple. But it is no longer mine. A great shadow has fallen over it. Demons of Rangda. Her shadow is long. Must defeat them. She cannot hear you, but she knows what to do. See what they built in my name. A magnificent city, a prosperous city, filled with marvels. Delicate carvings and intricate mechanisms, mills powered by water, wheels that turn on the wheels, that open gates and lift great weights. Jalasura, demons of water, mechanical slaves to Ranga. Pull my Raji. Avoid their gaze.
Do you remember what I keep in my temple, Durga? Of course. That gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the guardian waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. Oh, corruption. She must cleanse this, Durga. She must cleanse all of this. She will. And perhaps the tree will grant her another vision of the future. this being want with Golu? To instruct him? To control him? Raji did not know what I knew. Here lay our greatest peril. worship and fighting, if it is for the right cause. Thank <laughs> you. 
best. This little fly has a sting. Who is this intruder? And why does she dare my wrath? Dream. It is not enough. There is more to do. Another mechanism to find. She must hurry. We do not want Ramda to notice until Raji is prepared.
do we have no mother, no father? They are up there in the stars, little brother. This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of power. And now it is in Randa's hands. These people have no will. Their minds are clouded by Randa's shadow. And so the city was taken without any way to fight back. But they are alive, and so they can be free.
see here, it is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita, the most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand sons. Vinita asked for just one son, but that he must be more powerful than the thousand sons of Kadru. Blessed by the Maharshi, Kadru gave birth to one thousand eggs. Vinita gave birth to only two eggs. With time, Kadru's eggs began to hatch. Inside each one was a coiling snake. Vinita, impatient and jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to Kadru until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring, and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vedita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day Vinita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Should I so desire it, I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as they bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heaven.
This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the guardian waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons. Save Mayura and 
it will save you.
blessed Vishnu. I never thought to see such sights. Ah, Raji, you will go further than this and see many more wonders before your time is done. I have no doubt. She will also see terrors. Indeed, this place is beautiful. But at its heart stands the usurper Rangna. I hope Raji is prepared. reflection in the water. What's that? Golu. No! Golu! Golu! What are they doing to you? Who is this intruder, and why does she bear my wrath?
It is not far now, but she will need to climb high. That is something we know she can do. But to face what lies beyond. She is strong, Vishnu, but Ranga is the child eater. My city must be free. Be ready, Raji. Sword, shield, and heart. <laughs> Oh, 
souls have been lost to Randa's greed. It is a great victory, but Randa was never a clever creature. Now Raji must face the schema behind Randa. How will she fare against Mahabalasura, who holds her brother's life in his palm? mystic messenger was exhausted. He warned Raji of what lay in his land. A conqueror had come, bringing demons, death and despair. It was her only way to reach Golu. They must move swiftly. army would do anything to stop Raji reaching the mystic land. The mystic. Raji must continue on her own. Mayura, you have done all you could. Rest now and be safe. Thank mm -hmm. you.